Hello, hello again. So we have another project for you uh, here at Viva Glam. I actually want to show you how to make another headband. I know that uh, I showed you a headband with a little vintage um, clip-on earring, but this is an actual headband that's super easy to make. Uh, you can use any material that you like. You can go to the thrift store and, and get material, or you can go down to the fabric store and get material. Um, I'll show you some of the ones that I've made. This is actually a denim and flannel shirt. This one is a denim and bandana. And then this one is like denim and lace and has charms and stuff at the bottom of it. So this is really, really easy. You can use any leftover fabric that you have. Key thing is you need to make sure that you get a long enough strip. I didn't have a long enough strip of jean. Obviously, nobody's legs are that long. But you can just take the hot glue and you can cut strips and you can actually glue them together. So that's what I've done to save a little bit of time. And then I wanted to use some lace. So same thing with the lace. I cut two strips and then I glued it together. And then we have another, another different type of lace here. And then to make the flower on here, I used a sweatshirt material. And then we're going to put in the middle of the flower, we're just going to do a little crochet flower in the middle. So it really, you can put any combination together and it looks great. So let me go ahead and show you how to do this. Basically, you want to start by getting all the fabric kind of on the same level. So you want it to be centered from the, from the middle out. So let's see. Go ahead. And I like to mix it up with light and dark jean just so you get a little bit of a contrast see how everything's kind of centered. Let's see how many pieces we have. We have two, four, six. We have six pieces, so that's perfect. You obviously need three pieces to, to braid. So what I'm going to do is I am going to start... This is actually easier if you tie it to something. So I'm going to actually tie to this little table leg over here. Not that you can see that, but you can set a heavy book on it, a rock on it, anything. It's just easier if you tie it to something so that you can start braiding really easily. Okay, so you want to take three separate, you just braid like you would any kind of braid. Don't make it too tight because it's going to be, uh, you're not going to be, be able to see the different colors in the fabric and the different textures, but you just want to go ahead and braid the whole way down. And see, I love to use different textures of fabric because it really comes through. And then the denim, when it frays, denim is one of my favorite fabrics, as you can tell. I just love things that have texture to them. Okay, so we're getting kind of towards the end. And you can always cut some off, so you want to make sure that you have enough left at the end. Now, to secure the ends, what I'm going to do, I've cut a piece of terry cloth, or excuse me, not terry cloth, but sweatshirt material. And what we're going to do is you're just going to put a little strip of hot glue on, and you're going to wrap the uh, sweatshirt material around. Put a little dot of hot glue every once in a while just so it secures it. And it's okay, it's supposed to look a little bit a little bit messy. And then just finish it off. A little hot glue. So that's kind of what your end should look like. So unhook the other end, which still has a lot hanging off of it. Maybe I should braid it a little more. You want to make sure that you have enough to wrap uh, the braid around your head. So it ha actually has to be a lot longer than you think. I would say I started with about a yard and a half of uh, each piece of jean or lace. So about a yard and a half to make it to where it actually fits around your head because you think braiding, once you get it braided, it takes up a lot of the space. Okay, so same thing with this one. Super easy. all the strings from the hot glue. Okay, so 
so, so far this is what we have. Came across really quick. You can trim the ends whatever length you want. So I'm just going to cut it a little bit. This yellow one seems a little bit long to me. You don't want them to be even because then it looks too uniform. So just kind of trim it however you want. And then we're going to make a, a little, uh, like we have here, a flower. So put it wherever you want. I usually like to have mine off to the side, so I'll usually kind of like put mine up against my head and get an idea. Usually like somewhere about here. So just hold your hand there, pull it down, and kind of mark where it is you want it to be. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a little drop of hot glue. And really there's no rhyme or reason to this. You just kind of set it on there. And you just kind of want to twist the fabric, lay it in different positions. So we're going to do that. I haven't ever worked with this sweatshirt material. Definitely grabs the hot glue pretty well. So let's see. It doesn't really matter if the flower doesn't have a center because I'm going to show you guys what we're going to do with it. You just want to have kind of like the layered effect to it. See how it's kind of layering? Honestly, don't think too much into it because it seems like you need to, it needs to be perfect, but there's really no rhyme or reason to doing this whatsoever. So I'm going to finish it off by putting one little strip here. So this is kind of what it looks like. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to finish it off with a little crochet flower in the middle, and that's going to be our head wrap. So easy. And then when you go to wrap it, you can just put it on like that. Hope you guys enjoy. This is so quick. I get so many compliments on mine when I wear them out. Have fun.